Okay. Uh, so, good evening all. Uh, we are here at Kawata Police Station. You are aware that one of our members, the district IPS from Petauke District in Eastern Province, was abducted on Wednesday. The family, family members, lawyers, members of the party, we didn't know where he was. You are aware that yesterday, with fellow members of parliament and leaders of the party, we were looking for Rizwan Patel. We didn't know where he was. We looked all over, we didn't find him. Finally, our lawyers located him this evening and um, they've managed to get uh, a police bond for uh, Rizwan. He's been charged with four offenses. Strangely, Mr. President, identical offenses that were <laughs> given to me, a matter that you will speak to. So I'll invite Honorable uh, Given Luwinda, who's leading the delegation. We have Honorable Emmanuel Tembo, Honorable George Sanga, who's been at work to ensure that um, uh, we located Rizwan and uh, a, a, a bond was obtained, family members and others. So I'll invite uh, Honorable Given Luwinda to give his remarks. Uh, I want to welcome Rizwan to the growing club of the victims of arrests. This is a growing club. And interestingly, it's a club comprising mostly of members of the Patriotic Front. It comes to us without any wonder, without any surprise. I have said this and I want to reiterate it. If there is anything that is going to stop President Haga in the Hijilema from forming government in 2026, as far as he's concerned, it is the Patriotic Front. And this is the reason why he will not stop at anything in arresting all of us in the Patriotic Front. One message I want to make clear to him is that these arrests shall not cow us at all. We shall continue to do what we promised the Zambian people we shall do to give him the necessary checks and balances as a credible opposition political party. They will lay charges against us for all sorts of frivolous cases. We shall not back down. It is very strange that four people, five people, have been arrested for exactly the same offense. How could five people possibly have met and forged one letter or two letters? Five people, all of them forging one letter. How could that have been? That Emmanuel Mwamba, that Andy Lucci, that Thompson Piri, and now Rizwan Patel, the four of them sat and said, let us forge a signature. The four of them forged one signature. The question that begs an answer is, can Zikta please come out in the open? Because now it is Zikta that is in the dock. Can Zikta go and trace the one person who was the first one to post that letter on social media instead of uh, harassing everybody? I'm sure that if they come to my Facebook page and they find that letter, they'll also say I also forged. But it is easy for Zikta to trace this and see who was the first one to post that letter. As far as we are concerned, that letter has been in circulation for a long time. It was not on, brought on social media on the 8th of June. We know some people who actually dropped that letter from their Facebook pages. And Zikta can trace that. We would like to advise President Hagainde. We know that the relationship between your government and the Catholic Church and the body of Christ generally is not the best. We know that and we sympathize with you. And we also sympathize with you. We know how damning that letter is to your relationship. We know that you want to find a way of trying to distance yourself and your government from that letter. But surely, harassing innocent people as a way of cleansing yourself is not the right thing to do. I think that what you could do as president is to make sure that Zikta just go out there and they get the letter, let them produce the original letter and let them take that original letter for forensic expert check to see who actually signed that letter instead of you suspecting every person on whose Facebook you see that letter, you say they forged the letter. That is not fair. It is 
totally unfair. I would also like to condemn this habit of abducting our citizens and taking them to unknown destinations, harassing them, beating them up, and trying to extract information from them. That's not policing, that's not investigation. Conduct your investigations in a civil manner. Conduct your investigations in a manner that shows that you have due respect for the rights of the, your suspects. A person is innocent until proven guilty. And it is not the duty of anyone but the courts of law to prove a person guilty. And the courts of, all, of law also must be seen to be free from any interference if their judgments are to be respected by the Zambian people. So I'd like to appeal to you, President Againdi, please make sure that these institutions of justice are allowed to operate without any undue influence from anybody particularly the investigative wings of government. We advised you soon after you formed government, when you decided to take law enforcement agencies under the office of the president, we told you that that act in itself was an act that is going to boomerang because whenever these people take any action, we shall say that you instructed them. What is it that stops us now from saying that you actually, even when you were in Rwanda, you were commandeering the arrest of young Rizwan? And for a president to be so interested in the arrest of one citizen, I mean, that really demeans the stature of the office of president. Yeah. I would like to appeal to you, my friend, President Agaide, please let law enforcement agencies operate independently. And the comments that are being made by your spokespersons, whoever you call them, new positions you have created, that they stand up and start uh, denouncing people and threatening Initially, we were told PF will be deregistered. Now we've been hearing citizen for, citizens first will be deregistered. Mm -hmm. And somebody is claiming Emmanuel Mwamba was feigning, being beaten. How can a man who has lost a tooth mm -hmm. say that mm -hmm. he's feigning that a tooth was removed? Mm -hmm. The tooth broke out of his mouth and he has a medical report. And one of your people go around on media saying Emmanuel Mwamba is feigning. Mm -hmm. Now this gentleman here, he has been abducted, beaten, yeah. gunshots fired to scare mm. him mm. and again somebody should come and say that he's lying mm. Mm. anyway my message to all zambians is that the patriotic front is still determined and we shall continue to fight no matter how many of us are arrested mm. we shall continue to fight mm. i want to thank those who have come up to give sureties to the mm. police for the release of rizwan and i want to assure you rizwan that you are just joining a growing club as a member of the Patriotic Front, you must also be baptized to come into the club of victims of arrests. Only after this can you say, I am a true soldier of the Patriotic Front. So welcome, Rizwan. Welcome. <laughs> Emmanuel. Thank, welcome. You, thank you, Mr. Yes. Yes. I can only greet yes. with my left hand. Yes. yes. Would you wish to speak? Yes. 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 First of all, I'd like to thank... Honorable Gimo Luvinda, the Patriotic Front Party, my sisters, Honorable Tessila Lungu, and all the other members of parliament and my legal counsel who have been day and night trying to find me where I am, what I was going through. When I was taken for Petauke, when I was brought here, I requested, please, let me call my family member or my party officials to notify them that this is my, I'm, I'm on this journey. I was denied. Access. No, you will get it, you will get it. At the beginning, up to Luangwa, they were a bit friendly. From there, the tone changed. When I came here, first night, I was put in, second night, in, what, interrogation. And in the afternoon, they literally took me to C5 room in, at Central Police, beat me up like a criminal, put a shaft in between my legs, put, tied my hands with a seat belt. Be, they beat me in such a way that right now my vision is blurring in and out. And they said, Katsuza Vomera. This is just a start. And for sure, they lived up to their words. At night, they, from there, they took me to Lilai Police Station, Lilai uh, Division Headquarters Delta. I was there at, in the middle of the night. They came to pick me up with C5 officers. And then they took me in a bush. They covered my head with, with a hood. They put a gun to my head and told me that if you are not going to admit here, you are going to remain. No one will know you. Why are you still following this party? What is it in, what is in for you? What are they doing for you? Can you admit? And now you find that they even fired a shot over my head. I was just praying there that God, you are there for me. I'm, I'm standing for the truth. I've not done anything wrong. 
What did I do wrong here that I'm blame, being blamed for? Why is it that justice has to be double standard? Why is it that when a UPND member posts this on Facebook, which is a public media, he is not, he's never brought here. He was never tortured. He was never picked up from Petauke like a cop, no, no ordinary criminal. And why is it that we have to be victimized just because we wear this? This is our belief. This is our party. We are from Eastern. We are proud of our, our, our party. Why is it that justice has to be too standard? This is not right. Your Excellency, you promised rule of law. Tell your officers to practice the rule of law, or we will assume that you are the one instructing them to victimize us. Thank you. Make no mistake, but uh, the offense that has been lumped on uh, Emmanuel, on Andy, on Thompson, on Rizwan is not a small charge. To be accused of forging a letter coming from the head of state is something very scary. And this is the reason why we in the Patriotic Front shall stand by these two, four people to make sure that we get to the bottom of it. As a matter of fact, I want to say that we also as a party have the right and also the responsibility, but also the capacity to conduct our own investigations, to find out who exactly authored that letter, because surely it could not have been authored by four people. It must have been authored by one person. And we are going to make sure that we also get to the bottom of it. So we shall assist in investigating so that we know who is it who authored that letter. Because it couldn't have been authored by four people. Somebody must own up. And one day that person will own up. It may not be now. But for sure, time will tell. And the God that we all pray to one day will vindicate us. And the God will show us the one who actually signed that letter. And that day is coming. So don't think that you can hide behind time because time will catch up with you. These four people will go to court and I'm very happy. They will have their day in court. They have to go and stand there so that they are proved guilty. They don't have to go and prove themselves innocent. No, they'll have to be proved guilty. And that day is coming. Thank you. And I want to thank all members of the party. Continue to stand together especially in moments like this, stand together. All of you members of the Patriotic Front, remember my words. All of us are potential victims of police arrest. So all of you be on standby, be on lookout, be on alert, be ready. Those of you who have ailments, make sure you have extra drugs in your home so that when you are picked, you go to the cells with your medicine, like this one did today. But also look out for each other. Let's be the brother's keeper, let's be sister's keeper. Those of you are always available to come and sign bond for us. Continue to do that. Don't tire. But you also remember that you are also potential victims. All of us in the Patriotic Front are ready. Yeah. Thank you. President, thank you very much. Reason. So sad, Reason. My God. We need to take this for the abduction and then for the torture that is being subjected to. No, 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 no,